Is this frequency open? Is this frequency open? CQ, 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 WX0, MIK, Whiskey X-Ray 0, Mike India Kilo. CQ, 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 WX0, MIK. Hello and welcome to the next edition of the Michael's Podcast. This is the Dog Days of Podcasting edition for August 23rd? I think it's the 23rd. Yes, 23rd, 2018. Day 23 of Dog Days of Podcasting. Wow, we're getting close to the end. (coughs) So one more day of car cast here because... uh, this is also my the, what I call budget book season, in which we are, as part of our um, local government, are to provide a budget book to our citizens every year. <coughs> so we do that, and that is sucks up two developers' times for pretty much three solid days plus. So, doing this on my lunch recording so we can uh, keep the ball rolling. So, I've, we've talked about all this stuff, but we haven't talked about kind of the now what. So we talked, yesterday, or two days ago, we talked about radios. Uh, Yesterday, we talked about um, kind of some basic antennas to start out with. <clears throat> I may have forgotten about the Yagi for people who are away from town quite a ways or maybe even have a lot of trees in the way. But um, beyond that, you know, at least you have some sort of a start of where to look. So let's talk about the other online services, other things that you should consider <clears throat> or almost are mandatory in some respects. So the ARRL is an is a national uh, group that helps promote um, amateur radio and so on. They also help fight against some uh, bad le- legislation. They fight for good legislation, <clears throat> rules, and all that kind of fun stuff. Um, so. Th- if you can afford it per year, I would highly suggest it. Plus, as part of their membership, you get a subscription to the QRZ, I think it's QR, no, not QRZ, QST magazine, um, in which you can read articles and learn more about that kind of stuff. <coughs> I've been kind of reading through them. There's quite, you know, like most magazines, there's quite a few ads. But there's also some pretty good content in there. Um, your local ham club, absolutely. Uh, you, if you're not sure if you have one, you can start on the ARRL website. However, I would um, advise you to do some Google searching as well. My local one is not on there. There is another local one I know for sure exists because I listen to them on their net on Sunday nights. There is no website. There is no nothing. So I'm not sure how structured they are or whatever. But look for a local um, ham club because they, A, you're probably going to be using their repeaters. So that helps cover that kind of cost. Plus you gain contacts for additional people that can help you answer questions especially questions that are very location specific to um, your particular area. And like I said, like if you're in Canada and have lots of trees, sorry for, sorry for the stereotype, that's a thing that needs to be handled more specifically than if you're in the prairies of Minnesota. <clears throat> um, what else is there? So those are kind of the overarching organization that helps growth 
I, there, I don't remember. There's other content out there. So there's value in having the uh, ARRL in general. <coughs> if you like to support things like that. Um, then there is QRZ. Or QRZ, however you prefer to pronounce it. That is another community, but it's also usually the place where people look up um, call signs to see if it's valid call sign, where they're located, how they prefer to have uh, confirmed contacts, and so on. So QRZ.com. Once you get your license, uh, wait about a day at least, and then go in. Uh, they'll generally want you to confirm that you, um, to verify your account. And to do that, I think you can upload your official certificate or I think there's a few other means as well. <coughs> and then you can log contacts in there. Although most people don't seem to like to use that one. So again, still new, still learning myself. But definitely that seems to be the place. There's also forums. You can sell and buy equipment on there and so on. Pretty good resource for that kind of stuff. Um, the logbook of the world. It's a ARRL feature. Somewhat independent. That is, is free. But you can um, use that for um logging contacts especially in the hf realm or like your satellite contacts like we've talked about and um <clears throat> that is seems to be the most universally used one and then there's many many different software packages out there that will upload to that so that is a little more complicated to set up it requires you to generate a certificate and then says Enter in uh, an approval code that will get mailed to you in the mail. <coughs> so it's pretty thorough as far as because they only email or they only mail it to the account you have on file for your license. <coughs> but on the other hand, now you know you say who you say you are and you are quote verified contact again. Um, let's see here. TRZ, ARRL. There's also ESOL, or I'll put a link in the show notes if I remember to do it. <clears throat> um, very valuable. Again, another logging software for various things. Some people prefer that. Some people prefer, prefer the logbook of the world. Some people want both. Some people I. I'm still navigating that whole area. I don't know. Um, uh, let's see here. Other sites, sites, sites. Um, so beyond that, then you start looking at apps. <clears throat> so one app is um, Echo Link. So that is an app. So Echo Link is one of those digital technologies that are used that. Um, link the various repeaters together. It's also an app on your phone and it's also a Windows app. So once you sign up for, for Echo Link, you can uh, attempt to make contacts of various other places. And I have tried and failed on multiple attempts. <sighs> Sorry, yawning already. Short of, and I never, uh, I never talked on there, but there's a hurricane net that happens during hurricane season. It's a asterisk WX talk asterisk, I think it is. If you're in that group, you can listen to the net on like Wednesday nights or something like that. If you're interested in nets, you, it's easy to find the hurricane net uh, on an echo link for that. And Echo Link, you can there are some places you can use a regular radio, and then it links to other places. I'm not sure on the whole tech. Oh yeah, I'm not sure on the whole technology side on that one. Um, how that all works. <clears throat> um, D 
D-Star is another one you can find. That's a whole other thing. Um, and I really haven't found much use for that other than through another app called Peanut. Yes, like the peanut, like you eat, like peanut butter. Peanut is a app that is uh, still in beta, I think. So it's still in early development. But it can make contacts to various um, D-Star rooms and D and a few DMR rooms, um, which is the next one I was going to point out. Uh, so those you can sign in, and then as long as you're a licensed ham, you can talk to them. That is where I have done the um, Caribbean net a couple times. <coughs> oh, sorry. I'm not sure why I'm yawning. Um, so that's a, that's a kind of a fun app to play with a little bit. And uh, you can look at uh, DMR, which is not an app. That is just a website you sign up, and then your radio, if you have a compatible radio, allows you to talk to DMR. Um, well, I'm missing some stuff, I'm sure. Oh, you need uh, some sort of app to look at repeaters. I would recommend Repeater Book. It's free. It might be donationware. I, I think there might be a donation or something. But uh, if you use that, you don't necessarily have to register, but you can. <sighs> and then uh, you can also subscribe to if there's changes in your local area, if there are new repeaters, old ones being changed, or whatever. You can get those status updates as well. Um. Those are kind of the biggest ones. Uh, the other things I would recommend is Facebook groups. There's lots of them out there. Um, I don't remember exact phrasing, but it's like ham radio, new and existing licensees or something like that. I forgot the exact name of it. I'm pretty active in that one. I can link to that one. Um, ham radio crash course. HRCC is another group out there. Uh, Facebook isn't quite so active there somewhat, but they also have a Discord group, uh, room, server, that is very active and very uh, fun to be on. Um, no, do, do, do. I'm sure I'm missing some stuff, but let's stop there for right now. Um, yeah. I think that's pretty That's pretty good wide coverage of it. I'll try and put some of those links in the, my show notes. I feel like I'm forgetting something. If I've forgotten any, I will also include those in the show notes as well. Those are things that you should look at getting pretty shortly after getting that. If anything, because people will start to look you up and um, having your information out there, especially QRZ.com, is worth it just for the lookup and then you can personalize it put a picture whatever some people put antennas so you can do that kind of stuff to uh personalize it a little bit make it less generic of just your information um i will note one thing your actual address is publicly available at that point based on your license some people have mentioned that, well, you know, normal people don't really even know this exists, so they're not going to start looking for you and start stalking you or whatever, but it is still a publicly accessible database with your full home address. So some people will use a P.O. box instead in order to um, somewhat observate. Ah obscure make their home address less obscure so they are just out there sometimes and there's value in doing that i think that's everything i'm home anyway so uh another 14 minute one i guess i'd like to talk so i will talk to you tomorrow this is wx0 mik and uh, i think my frequency is now clear bye the frequency is clear WX0MIK 73